Welcome back for another video. I'm Lady Gloria Starr and I'm delighted to be with you sharing tips and tactics to people all over the world that really want to be their very best. So let's talk about etiquette. Etiquette and manners are essential even in our so very casual world. In fact, I personally think they're more necessary now than they ever have been. Many times the parents are not able to teach their children because perhaps they don't know either. So it's really, really vital for us to step up and learn about manners and etiquette. I offer several programs, including the Modern Day Finishing School, the Executive Finishing School, the Professional Athletes Finishing School, and all of these signature programs that I've created over the years all include a major element of etiquette. So what does etiquette really mean to you? Etiquette is an everyday activity that we can practice going from something as simple as saying, thank you, please, I'd be simply delighted. May we meet together for lunch today? Or how to set a proper table, how to invite friends to a party, how to say, no, thank you, without offending anyone. In the business world, it's how to do a proper presentation using PowerPoint, never looking at the screen, but of course, looking at your audience and connecting with them so they remember what you really told them. So everything has a way to include etiquette. When you get in and out of the car as a lady, you must sit in first with your buttocks and then bring both legs and slide them in so you don't do the Britney Spears spread. That's good for a laugh, isn't it? Now, when we want to enhance our image, you can do something as simple as learning how to present a business card. If you were in Asia, you would present a business card with two hands and you would give them to that other person with a slight bow with your head. If they are giving you their card, you're going to accept the card with two hands and you would look down and read the card. Now, some of us are old enough that we might need glasses to do that, but at least you can pretend you're reading the card. Very important. And you never put the card away in your pocket or your handbag if the person is still chatting with you and they're directly in front of you because that would be considered very, very rude. Now, all over the world, a handshake is very important, but in some cultures, there are different ways of doing a handshake. In North America, that would be Canada and United States, we would shake hands with a full hand clasp like this, and you'd shake two or three times up and down with your, from your elbow. Now, if you are in another country and you don't know as a woman if you are supposed to shake hands, then you would wait for that person to extend their hand and then you would reach out with your hand. So there are very many different ways. I noticed in Saudi and in the Middle East, all over the Middle East, that people don't necessarily shake hands unless they're working with an international business person and then they would shake hands. I have seen two people, two gentlemen from the Middle East with their gutras, uh, wearing their cl proper clothing and they greet each other sometimes by touching each other on either side of the nose. I thought that was very interesting and I discovered that sometimes that can mean that the person is smelling the other person and the type of food that they eat indicates the fragrance and smell that comes from their pores. So if they are from a certain tribe, they would be eating a certain type of spice and that would be within their body. So don't make a mess of things. Always watch and observe. And of course, it's best to know before you go. So I have two significant programs, uh, China and uh, the Far East. Know before you go. I've been many, many times to China and learned a lot about their culture. So as North Americans going to another culture, always remember that we are the guest.
and guests need to behave. The other cultural program that I do, of course, is going to be for the Middle East as I've been working there for more than 14 years, and it's an exciting adventure. Lady Gloria Starr meeting all of your corporate training needs all over the world for three decades. I'd be simply delighted to work with you and your company.